Hi, I'm Shaka Hislop and you're here at Extra Time TV. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Extra Time TV. This is Andre Soklal and if I'm looking tired, it's because I am. Because Trinidad Tobago lost a crucial CONCACAF Nations League qualifier against Honduras in a hotly contested game that resulted in two dismissals. And as a result of this 2-0 loss, Trinidad Tobago are now at the bottom of their group after drawing their first two games against Martinique. And if we take a look at the events of this particular game, Trinidad Tobago succumbed to goals from Brian Velasquez Moya in the 52nd minute and Douglas Martinez in the 90th minute. Uh, Levi Garcia was uh, sent off for a second yellow in the 72nd minute. A lot of people uh, can't seem to really figure out why he got the second yellow card. He's not an indisciplined player, but we'll speak about that in our post-match discussion. So stay tuned for that. Like, subscribe. That's going to be coming up soon where we'll discuss the details of this game a bit more. Uh, Mikel Williams also got sent off. Trinidad Tobago, you know, played the 4-4-2 formation uh, with uh, Marvin Phillip in goal. Alvin Jones, Sheldon Bato, Cyrus and Williams as a back four. Levi Garcia, Kaleem Highland, um, Leston Paul and Telfer across the middle. The four with Carr and Molino as the two guys up front. It switched to a 4-3-3 at times with Levi Garcia making a lot of penetration through the wings on Telfer as well. Levi Garcia had a really good game. Um, also, uh, Honduras had their 4-4-2 formation. But before we get into that, we'll speak about the details about that in our post-match reaction. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe because that will be coming up soon and comment in the comment section below because when you do that you automatically qualify for a chance to win a copy of FIFA 20 and also other cool prizes from the kind folks of my store so with that being said we're going to head into the post-match press conference with Dennis Lawrence this is the shortened version of version of the press conference you can definitely find a full version in the link in the description below for both coaches so let's take a look at what Dennis Lawrence had to say look obviously that's a very disappointing start but I think I want to focus on the game tonight, what brought about the start. And when you look back at the game, it was very disappointing to be involved in a game that <laughs> literally had nothing in between it. But yet, you're talking about seven bookings and two red cards and where I couldn't see that coming from. And then the second one I was disappointed in is the way we conceded the first goal. Way, way, way too easy. And that is not, it shouldn't be us. It's not what we're expecting from them. So as I said, looking back at the game overall, a game that basically had nothing in it. Um, I didn't think any keeper was under massive pressure, anything like that. And then all of a sudden, the game just explodes with seven bookings, two red cards. We lose the game two 0 and it's a it's a disappointing feeling. And I'm disappointed. Um, what I should say, we didn't deserve it or not, but we, that's what we got. But overall, looking back at the game, I, I didn't think it was a two 0 game and seven cautions, two red cards, and the game just got out of control in the manner that it did. So I think overall it was a disappointing night. Let me, let me put this in the context. Dennis Lawrence is the head coach, and of course I stand here and take all responsibility for 13 games without a uh, victory. But we must always remember, it's Trinidad and Tobago that went 13 games without a victory, not Dennis Lawrence. I'm the head coach, I will take the responsibility for it. And the only thing I would do is continue to work very hard to ensure we can try and change these, 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 these numbers. Um, as I said before, the focus for me is on tonight's game, what added to the 13 games without a, a, a victory. And tonight it was really disappointing in the manner in how we lost the game 2-0. Um, because looking back at the game overall, I thought we did very well, competed well, we managed the ball well. Second half, the game started, there was nothing in the game. And then one incident when we give away a very, very soft goal from, in my opinion, a very poor individual defensive decision. And we then chase in the game. And then we get a red card. Then we got another red card. We chase in the game. The second goal is irrelevant because we're trying to get back into the game. We're throwing numbers forward. And Honduras picked us off on the counter attack. So it's give and take. So there you have it, folks. That's the comments from Dennis Lawrence. We're also going to take a listen for the Uruguayan Honduran coach, Fabian Coito. Uh, he basically had his, uh, you know, his comments. Also, the full version of this will be available, so be sure to check that out. So let's hear what he had to say. Mm, buenas noches. Este y bueno, de acuerdo a lo que imaginábamos, un partido duro por el estilo del equipo rival, futbolistas fuertes, grandes. Eh, nos costó convertir el, el primer gol, que era el que podía comenzar a abrir el partido. 
y por lo tanto el, el partido siempre estaba muy parejo y, y, y ellos con, con futbolistas que, que en el uno contra uno nos, nos hacían daño este, teníamos dificultades a veces para, para contener sobre todo cuando no culminábamos la jugada y ellos podían salir en contraataque cosa que lo sabíamos pero bueno este, estaba dentro de lo posible creo que cuando convertimos el primer gol el equipo merecidamente encontró la ventaja que, para lo cual le habíamos hecho méritos y, este, y bueno y ahí se produce con ese gol una cuestión normal del juego ah perdón por normal del juego que es este, que el equipo que está en desventaja se tira arriba un poco en forma desordenada y comienzan a hacer las situaciones a partir de, de las salidas rápidas so good night it was a hard match as, he, as we imagined it, it was a rough match with tough players today as we expected uh, we had to have control of the ball also when we had the ball it was difficult to make the first goal when we made the first goal uh, they started to attack us more and as we defended and we attacked uh, it was hard for us because they were going to do counter attacks but as we made the second goal we settled more and we controlled more the game um, bueno por supuesto el resultado da tranquilidad y, y da satisfacción, pero el rendimiento yo creo que hicimos cosas buenas, vol volvemos a, a poder este, terminar 90 minutos sin que nos hayan convertido gol. So the result was good and we are confident that we can make a good match back in Honduras without 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 they converting us a goal. Today have it folks uh, from the Uruguayan born coach of Honduras so once again don't forget to like and subscribe that will be in the description below the full interviews on both coaches so be sure to check that out like subscribe comment it helps us out a lot so once again stay tuned for our post-match conference our full interviews are in the links in the description below so once again this is Andres Soklal of EXTV and thank you for joining us watching if you want to check out more look at this video and don't forget to click the subscribe button because when you do one of your enemies will be destroyed